I had not planned on doing this, but I figured since I was redoing my canoe, this would be a great opportunity to explain what I've done and, and maybe put this stuff on my website. So, based on the information that I've received from many, many friends off of the Boundary Waters websites, here's what I've done. I've taped a water line, and I've sanded, and then I've started to fill some of the bigger scratches that I had in the canoe. I'm pointing out here, these are some of those scratches that I was talking about that were really deep. You can't really see from there, but, but they've definitely fuzzed up a little bit. I'm afraid I'm going to have a whole lot of these fuzzies to replace, fix. So, this is what the process looks like right now. And I will continue documenting as I go. Okay, so, I've stripped off all of the old covering and the old epoxy and I've patched all the pieces that I wanted to patch and now this is the coating. I finally covered it this morning and this afternoon with the epoxy and um, I think it came out pretty good. I've got some areas like right here where it's kind of uh, clouded up a little bit but I think that that'll go away as it dries a little more and there's still a ton of scratches in my canoe but all in all I think it turned out pretty nice. Here's the uh, West Systems epoxy kit I used. I used the 105 and the 205 hardener. I used these uh, paper bowls that are non-wax and I used a foam brush to apply the epoxy. I used um, about, I started off with seven pumps of epoxy resin and seven pumps of hardener and that made a pretty decent amount. Then I went to ten and that made a decent amount and I was able to do it all with about I guess probably four bowls of epoxy and um, that worked out really well for me it took me about 15 or 20 minutes to cover it all and I was able to get it all done uh, at one sitting so I, I did it quickly I expected to do it quickly but I think the results will look pretty cool